Hi, I will be helping you today with finding perpendicular bisector of a line segment, which equation represent, represents the perpendicular bisector of AB, whose endpoints are 8 and 2 and 0 and 6. I have a graph here, <clears throat> and also you will have the same thing in your, uh, um, in your test. At the back of the test, you will be provided by um, a grid paper like this, um, something similar or different, but you can make your own x-axis and y-axis. Um, we're gonna confirm our work with this one and see if we're on the right direction or not. Uh, let's first of all plug these two points before I find anything. 8 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 2. The second one is 0 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the second point. If we're going to um, grab that, that's going to be this way, like this here. Okay. Now, we're going to find the midpoint. If you look at this one here, I see there's a midpoint, this point here. There's a, like if you graph a rectangle around this part, it's going to be the same as uh, this rectangle. But we're not going to depend on the graph. Let's find, first step, find the midpoint equals the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 x1 this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 x1 plus x2 that is 8 plus 0 over 2 2 plus 6 over 2 that's going to be 8 plus 0 over 2, that is uh, 4, and uh, 8 over 2 is 4. And that's exactly the same thing we have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. The coordinate here is 4 and uh, 4. This is the midpoint, that's the first step. Uh, a little bit about the perpendicular bisector, if you forget how to do the, or the definition of perpendicular bisector, if you have a line segment like this, uh, let's call this is point A and point, point B, and you want to find a perpendicular bisector, the equation of perpendicular bisector line, um, the perpendicular bisector is a line passing through the midpoint of uh, the segment AB and uh, perpendicular to this one. Now we're looking for the perpendicular line. Okay, in order for you to write the equation of the line, you need to know two things. The slope of the line and a point on that line. We know obviously the point 4 and 4 passing, or the line passing through this point. Now we need to find the slope of this line. What is the old slope? Equals what? The old slope if you do this one here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, up, if you know, like make like uh, some uh, right triangles somewhere here. You go up 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the left. And that's going to, let's just clear that here, is going to be 4 up, that's going to be positive 4, over 8 to the left, that's going to be negative 8. Rise over run, if it's up, you're going to make it positive, left to make it negative, right to make it positive, that's the same as negative 1 half. Okay, therefore, your new slope, new slope, we know is going to be perpendicular bisector to this one. So uh, the, the, the perpendicular lines, all perpendicular li lines have negative reciprocal slopes. What it means by negative reciprocal is you flip the negative one over to upside down and change the entire fraction. If it's negative, you make it positive. If it's positive, you make it negative. This fraction is negative, so the new slope is going to be positive. Flip it, that's going to be 2 over 1. A positive 2 over 1, which is 2. Okay, you need to find the equation of the line that 
passes through the point 4 and 4. So the point is, let's just copy them here so I don't get confused. Cut, passes through the point 4 and 4 and has a slope over 2. Write the equation. There are two ways to do this one. There is two formulas. I'm going to use the uh, old and uh, the regular uh, y-intercept formula. y equals mx plus b. This is x and this is y and that's the slope. From this equation we're going to find the, the value of uh, b or the y-intercept. Well, that's 4 is uh, y as 4 equals m which is 2 times x which is 4 plus b that's going to be 4 equals 8 plus b subtract 8 from both sides you get negative 4 equals to b b equals to negative 4 therefore the new equation is y equals m to x plus b which is minus 4 this is the equation of the line of the perpendicular bisector whose of the uh, endpoints 8 and 2. Which one here? This is choice A. Let's confirm with the graph. Confirm with this graph. I'm just going to erase everything. We know this is the midpoint here. Okay, let's graph this one. Y intercept of negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the y-intercept. We're graphing this equation to see if it's going to be really perpendicular by sector or not. And the slope is 2 over 1. Rise over run. Rise up, run to the right. You go up 2, 1 to the right. You go up 2, 1 to the right. Up 2, 1 to the right. Up 2, 1 to the right. And keep down like this. Let me get the... Um, that one here so if you continue for looking at this one is going to for connecting those dots is going to be yeah around this I just uh, uh, mess it up a little bit so yes it seems like um, this line here is uh, passing through the midpoint and that looks like perpendicular to this one or 90 degrees so choice A is the correct choice work well.